Hello there, so I'm back with my video on how I tone my hair. Basically, whenever I tone my hair, this is what I do. I just bleached my hair last week. You may have seen the video, if not, I will link it down below. In that video, I promised that I would show you how I tone my hair. A lot of the time, when you bleach your hair, you end up with very brassy hair. This past time of bleaching, my hair was probably the least brassy it's ever been, but it definitely still has like some brassiness to it that I want to eliminate. And that's where toning comes in. Toning eliminates brassiness and yellow tones in your hair. You've probably seen them and if you've bleached your hair, you've definitely been to Brassy Town. I haven't washed my hair in a week. I mean, I know you're probably judging me right now thinking, Oh my gosh, she is so gross right now. But I mean, I've showered, of course, like I've showered a few times, but I just, I generally do not wash my hair a lot, maybe like twice a week. My hair doesn't get very greasy, I find. Also like dry shampoo was invented. So this is the starting point of my hair today. As you can see, it does look very light. My roots are making some kind of premature comeback. It's amazing how quickly like your roots actually start to come through. I feel like, you know, this is a really good time to bleach your hair when you just bleach. What am I talking about? <laughs> usually I would have toned my hair by now after bleaching. I usually do it like the day after because my hair is usually extremely brassy. If you watched my video where I bleached it, my hair actually didn't look that brassy like. So I've actually just been quite happy, you know, to go out in public with my hair like this for the past week. The time has come to tone. Today, I'm gonna to be using the product that I always use. I've tried loads and loads of different toners. I've tried toning shampoos. A few things have been okay, but nothing has been as phenomenally effective as the Jerome Russell B Blonde Maximum Colour Toner. So I have this in the shade Silver. They do have a whole kind of range of other shades, but the Silver one, they've got like an, I think it's like an Icy Blonde one. They've got one which has like a lilac look. They've got a rose gold one, which was shit. Like do not go for the rose gold one. I always go for silver just because like this one is my favorite. With this product, you get a little uh, bottle, which looks like this. And this is all pre-mixed and everything. So you don't need to buy anything else. This is all you need, 75 milliliters. I do find that for me, this kind of does me, I mean it does me, well, that sounds really rude doesn't it, but this small little bottle covers like my entire head, I've never felt the need to, you know, get another guy on the job, oh my gosh that sounds terrible, <laughs> this cost £4.50, before I get into the bathroom and you know get to business, I just wanted to you know just make a disclaimer in a way I suppose just to say that I am aware like I am not a professional hairdresser I don't really have any skills when it comes to hair I'm just kind of winging it all the time this video is not like in any way like me telling you how you should do it I'm just kind of showing you how I do it to hopefully like just give you some help I don't know what again don't have a clue what I'm doing but I am not an expert I am just showing you what I do because quite a few people have asked me how I tone my hair so here it is. Also just to say as well like I know good good meaning people, does that make any sense? People who mean good, well meaning people, anyway I don't know but I know there's people with good intentions that will comment saying oh no you're doing that wrong, you're doing this wrong, da 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 da, you're a vagina face like in all honesty this is just how I do it and this works for me and I'm really really happy with it so don't feck around with me like literally I'm joking I'm only joking but no don't don't feck with vagina face I mean really guys so I'm gonna take you to the bathroom now and we're gonna do this right now so because I know a lot of people are gonna ask this costs four pounds fifty and I get it from of course Tesco is that a surprise probably not okay so Unlike with the hair bleaching, with this particular toner, you do have to shampoo your hair 
prior to applying it so you can't just apply it to well you could if you wanted but i don't know what would happen but for best results you have like wet post shampooed hair today i'm going to be using honey's head and shoulders men ultra two in one total oh no i'm not going to be using this because it's got conditioner in it ah sweet testicles what can i use Okay, so I don't have anything else to use. So I'm going to be using Honey's Men Shampoo. It does have conditioner in it. On the instructions for this toner, they do say to shampoo your hair. They don't mention conditioner, but they do mention a clarifying shampoo, which I believe Head and Shoulders is. And there's nothing in here. How what? How rude of Honey's! Like, did he not know I was fucking filming a video today? Okay, so guys, okay, cancel the head and shoulders. I'm not using that today. Okay, so today I'm going to be using the L'Oreal El Aviv Restoring Shampoo. I am not loyal to any particular brand of shampoo or conditioner. I just use whatever's on offer and looks pretty. Okay, so I've shampooed my hair, I've towel dried it, it still feels like super, super wet. Really, I had a little dance party, my hair is still wet. So in a way, like I definitely find that toning is kind of more tricky than bleaching, purely because you've got wet hair. I feel like if you've got wet hair before doing any kind of hair dyeing stuff, it's always like more difficult to get the product like everywhere i'm just kind of shaking this up and i'm literally out of breath like for my dance party but shake 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 this is taking me back to my bartending days mixing a little mojito well i don't think i actually ever mixed a mojito but in my mind i did you know as you can see like i don't know if you can see actually but it's very purple and see this is why we don't want to leave it on for too long because that purple will become your hair, you know? So, oh, I'm dripping, guys, oh my gosh. Like, not literally. Oh, my gloves, oh my gosh, how could I forget the gloves? I mean, literally, guys. Luckily, I have about five million of these. You can never have too many. I think these are latex gloves, and they're definitely not stylish gloves. They're not the kind of gloves I would wear, you know, out and about, let's put it that way. So, I'm still dripping, oh my gosh. Okay, so I am ready for the great application of 2018. So I literally just get some of the product on my gloved hand and I just start to kind of pop it on. Look at that, guys. She's popping it on. I mean, this is really what I do throughout the whole of my head, but I'll show you a little bit of it because, I mean, why not? Okay, so I just start to apply like this. There's no real kind of precision or like format or anything that I follow. I just bang it all on like this. Do, 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 do. Sing a little song as I'm doing it. Ba, 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 ba. Just make sure that you don't get too much on any one area because I find that like if you do that, it definitely will go purple. So it's really important just to make sure that you're kind of massaging this in, like so. It's also very important to shake this as well before you start to apply because it's a very strange kind of texture. It's almost like a jelly kind of texture and if you don't shake it, it just like, I don't know, it just becomes quite liquidy, it's not right. You know, you're just like, what is this? I can't put this on my hair. So definitely make sure that you mix the bottle before you apply. On the lens, I just like to go like um, this. I just trumped. I hope you didn't hear that. I'm so sorry if you did. I had some beans on toast for breakfast and yeah, well anyway, no more needs to be said on, on my trump. Okay. 
Okay, so I just kind of work in sections. I don't really actually, like, I don't. I just put it everywhere, like all at once, just in one mad, mad toner filled attack on my hair. Again, just really making sure that I spread all of the toner out, all up in my hair. Oh, and all up on my forehead, of course. I mean, if you've not got some on your forehead, what are you even doing? So put this up around the back. As I said, they do have other shades as well in this particular toner. I think that the lilac one is really, really good if you want to have like lilac kind of toned hair. That looks brilliant. Also, the um, platinum, platinum Ice, I think it's called. I will confirm here, but that one is also really, really good. But the rose gold one, do not touch that with a barge pole. Like, I don't know, it didn't do anything to my hair. Like, literally, it's coming out. Ugh. Ugh. What's this? Oh, what's there? What is going on here? Oh my gosh. Seriously? I know you're probably all watching this thinking, am I? What a preposterous application you are doing here now. It's just chaotic. But I promise you, when you see the results, I think you're gonna like it. I hope so anyway. Oh my gosh, I ran out. What? I think if you've got like very thick hair, then I don't think you could get away with one bottle because actually, for some reason now, I feel like I've come to the end of this and I feel like I've not even got started yet. Oh my gosh. But yeah, if you've got very thick hair, which I don't have, then definitely get two bottles just to be on the safe side. It's still gonna cost you under 10 pounds. And a lot of the time there, it are kind of offers on, like, you know, buy one, get one half price, buy one, get a dildo, do you know what I mean? So I'm just at the stage now, because I've run out of product, of trying desperately to redistribute what I've already applied and I'm failing wildly. Come out, you fucker. You give it a little bit of like a fingering. I find that that can really kind of move things along a little bit. Just give it a fingering. You know, because I wear my hair up a lot as well, it's crucial that I get these bits right here. Otherwise, I'm going to be the laughing stock of my office. Turn my head upside down, which I know you can't see because I didn't set my camera low enough, and like there's no way I can touch my camera with my hand like this. So just picture the scene, guys. I've not got pants on. I'm just bent over like this. I'm just talking you through it. Anyway, I'm back up again now, so it's fine. Okay, so the application is now done. It took about 10 minutes. If you exclude the impromptu dance party, I am now going to be setting a timer on my phone for 27 minutes because I feel like that's reasonable. I feel like it's wrong to set it for the full 30 minutes because I have spent like 10 minutes applying it. So do you, do you agree or do you think that's wrong? But I don't know, 27 minutes it will be. So let's do this. Mm -hmm. I, I hate going into my alarm app because it always just makes me think that it's like 11 o'clock at night and I'm setting my alarm for six for work the next day. So I just have, like it triggers me, it triggers, triggers all kinds of things right timer where the heck are you i mean really so i'm actually going to set the timer to 27 it was 27 and honey sounds like he's dying downstairs like what's even going on right now anyway okay so yeah i've i've set set my alarm anyway you don't need to see that but when my alarm goes off of course i'm going to be hopping into the shower like the sexy little devil I am. No, I'm joking. What? Where did that even come from? I don't know. I'm going to be hopping in the shower and uh, washing this off, conditioning my hair. And then I'll probably show you the final results tomorrow because I don't kind of blow dry my hair 
or anything and even if I do it seems to make no difference whatsoever my hair takes absolutely ages to dry so I just kind of leave it to its own things I'm just like feck you hair I, I don't have time to be pecking around getting hot and bothered trying to dry you you can just do it yourself like literally do it your fecking self I'll show you what the results are tomorrow we can have a look and yeah that that's probably it for the video unless you want to come over to watch a film later which it's not gonna happen is it really because this is in the future but anyway guys i'll see you in a sec okay so it's the next day i have finally managed to dry my hair although i had no part in it other than saying dry you fecka dry so this is how my hair is looking today it came out really really well but as you can see like there's definitely some purple to it i don't really know how to avoid the purple maybe if i left the toner on for less time it wouldn't go quite so purple but i actually don't really know i know that a lot of people probably wouldn't want their hair to have like a purple tint to it i don't really mind the purple at all i'm kind of into like well i say purple it's more of like a lilac shade and um, you could definitely see that the toner has lightened my hair and given it that kind of you know silvery look don't forget as well this particular toner is in the shade silver so it's not just like a toner that's going to like strip the brassiness from your hair it will also make your hair look a little bit silver believe it or not i am really really happy with the results one thing that i would probably do differently next time and you would probably think that i would know this by now because i've toned my hair like so many times but i would probably be tempted to use two of the bottles because I do feel like there are some areas where the coverage like isn't quite so great. Oh hey it's honey. Okay, I'm on the way. <laughs> <laughs> they think you're doing your coming right this second. I didn't say I was going to do my filming. Honey's using his towel. He's just had a, a bath. <laughs> Yeah, so I think next time I use this toner, I will definitely use two bottles. I just think it would give me a little bit more coverage, kind of like an even coverage. So my hair is just beneath my bubayas. It's not very thick. Like if you look at my hair, like it's really not that thick. But I would definitely say if you've got long hair underneath your bubayas, and certainly if it's kind of thicker than mine, use two bottles just to get the optimum coverage i left this on for 30 minutes yesterday so i think 30 minutes seems to be like a really really good time to leave the toner on for so i am really happy with the results and i really really love this particular toner and i would really really, really recommend it uh, just keep in mind that this one was the silver one and it does turn your hair kind of a silvery lilac kind of shade so if you're looking to just tone your hair maybe don't use the silver one. There's another one called, I think it's Platinum Ice, and I don't know if I'm just making that up, but I'll put the actual name here. Use that one if you just want like a toning situation as opposed to silver situation. I actually feel like I really, really liked my hair after I bleached it because usually when I bleach my hair, my hair goes like super, super brassy and yellow. I have to like tone it instantly, but because my hair did go that yellow after bleaching this time, I actually really, really liked how it looked and I'm kind of missing it now. I mean, I like this, but I'm kind of much prefer how it was before I toned it. And I never thought I'd hear myself say that. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna go. I hope that this video was maybe helpful to you probably not but at least now you know how i tone my hair not very professionally of course but there we go i mean really guys but anyway thank you so much for watching the video and i will see you in the next one bye i said bye silently then like i don't know why bye Yeah.